my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Them good old boys were drinking whiskey. Well, welcome back to Good Day 724. Hey, guess who's driving the Chevy around town this week? <laughs> Car critic Ed Wallace is out front with the new 2017 Chevy Cruze. What do you think, Ed? Well, good morning, Steve and Shannon. Yes, we have the new generation of the Chevy Cruze with us. For those who forgot, the last one that came out was absolutely magnificent. In fact, I said, you can see where General Motors bought a bunch of Mazda 3s and back engineered them to figure out how to build it. Well, now in this new generation, like so many cars coming from GM, a lot of technology. Let's start, four cylinder engine, 153 horsepower, has good acceleration around town, 65, 70 miles an hour hit the passing gear, you're gonna have to let the RPMs come up a little bit. It's quiet. In fact, it's quieter than I really expected it to be. And out on the freeway, again, 65, 70 miles an hour, it may be one of the quietest compact cars I've been in, and that is where it actually has its best ride to. This is actually a long distance cruising vehicle, no pun intended. But this is an upper end model, and you can see when GM goes to the two-tone dashes and design, they really do look expensive, and it's beautifully done. A lot of features on this one, by the way. It has every safety feature, I think, known to man. Collision avoidance, staying in your lanes. It even has a system to rat out your teenage drivers. And a compact car has a reasonable amount of space all the way around. will hold four people relatively comfortably. And here you have the section, it's kind of, well, it's a hatchback, you can get things in, but this is up kind of high, although if you're parked on a hill, it'll keep things from falling out. So, I really like what GM has done over the years, but there's great irony to what's happening. Back in the old days when GM's small car was a Cavalier, and what a cruddy little car that was. Back in the early 80s, they were selling 462,000 Cavaliers a year. Even as the 80s ended and sales were off 100,000, they were still nearly 400,000 sales. So General Motors gets tired of the enthusiast magazines bagging them. They start creating these incredible little cars and they don't get near the volume they used to get out of the junk they used to build. That's a tragedy. These start, by the way, at 17,000. With everything on it, it's 29. And as much as I love driving it, we had the Malibu last year at 29,000 with the same tech, and that is the better buy. With that, y'all have a good weekend. All right, thank you. You can listen to Ed on 570 KLIF. Tomorrow, his car column is always in Saturday's Fort Worth Star Telegram.